girl Janae Nicole coming to you from beautiful sunny South Florida. I hope you're having a better day than I am right now. Um, I am so shook right now guys. I just recorded this episode and it was freaking awesome. And I cannot for the life of me believe that I just did the dumbest thing ever. So I went to save the file, I went to name it, and I hit a wrong key. And I don't know why I thought I was out of it, and I hit delete. I don't know what happened. All I know is it asked me did I want to save it, and I had hit no before I could stop. And let's just say that file is gone. I'm sure it's somewhere in Audacity temporary folder. But I can't find it and I'm too tired and frustrated to even look for it anymore. So hence we are going to re-record this episode quickly and I'm just going to get the information to you. I'm just so sad about this situation. That episode was so good you guys but I'm going to make this one even better. So let's get into it I just wanted you to share my misery for one second and uh, we're back so I was talking about 2016 we are literally less than a day away from 2016 well almost one full day I'm almost to midnight now on the 30th so just about one full day before we officially hit 2016 and I was talking about how super excited I am that, you know, we have a new year coming and I have all these amazing things that I want to share with you guys and just pouring my heart out on you. So I'm going to give you the full reenactment as far as my memory can sustain me. Um, Dang, I just can't believe it. You know how you just like, ah, that old sneaky devil no just kidding um just human error just the stupidest things but hey um we're not gonna let it get us down we're gonna keep it moving my thing for 2016 is grinding i am grinding for 2016 and i know a lot of people don't like that word grind and hustle because it um denotes working hard and struggle and you know that sort of thing what did I say grind is like you know you hustling you out there and that's exactly what it is I am putting feet to the pavement I'm grinding for 2016 because at the end of the day if you don't hustle and grind it's not going to get done. That's what it's called for. It's called for for me in this season of my life is being grind not being grimy, but putting the grind in and putting in the hard work. And I said even in the Bible it talks about faith without works is dead. And that's all grind is. It is doing the work. And that's what we're going to do for 2016. I'm going to rise and grind. So that is my theme for 2016. I don't know what yours is. But that's what I'm on for 2016. The grind. And uh, I hope you with me. We going to put in some work. Okay. So having said that. um, I did talk about at the beginning of the show. That 2016. You know for 2015. You know. The show is going well. I'm really proud of we're going to finish strong on 2015 and we're going to end with 20 episodes of the Job Optional Podcast. Um, Of course, we're not one full year yet, but from where I started and learning everything, you know, you guys have followed those of you that are hanging with me. You guys have been here from the beginning and it, and you know we're we're really still pretty new but it's it's exciting to see the growth and 
learning everything from scratch and remembering just how intimidating that first couple of episodes and you know cutting the mic on and forgetting my own name and just feeling boxed in and and just experiencing podcast movement and getting involved with my local podcast group my meetup and just meeting some awesome amazing people this year and just the direction that our lives are are taking in that the traject the trajectory of it is is <sighs> it's wonderful it's a lot of hard work but looking back and seeing you know just remembering me doing all of this and and figuring it out and you know with very little to you know no outside help other than me finding the resources and and watching the videos and you know that sort of thing and forums online and things like that ah it's been a journey 2015 so 2016 is gonna be even more so so i'm super excited for 2016 and i did mention that 2015 it's been us getting to know one another and me just sharing my heart with you guys and the things that i've been learning i'm really for 2016 the 2016 plan looks amazing i have so much stuff planned for you guys some you know some blog posts and um some special guest appearances on the podcast so it's some big things coming for 2016 and i'm just so stoked and some video is gonna be coming that's exciting that's exciting i forgot to mention that in the previous episode so i guess everything happens for a reason but what i did mention was that you know everything that i've done up to now you know i've just been trying to encourage you and give you value and and just show you things that i've learned and i'm always an open door so you can reach out to me but that i do have in 2016 i will be having some paid courses and things of that nature coming out in 2016 so be looking for that i said you know 2015 and and even the beginning of 2016 i'm gonna still continue to add value to you guys at you know i'm not looking for anything in return but as you know all of that without taking a breath as you know this is a business to me i am my podcast will be a business it's going to be part of my brand and as i stated in the last episode if you haven't heard it yet um there's a business a separate business than the job optional janae nicole brand that's coming out um stay tuned it's coming 2016 and um all i can say is it is i can't say anything i I just want you to know just just to be aware that it's coming 2016 i'm a a full-fledged business it's not so much targeted to you guys my brand new getting started babes but you know once you get to that level then you have a resource here with me but anyway um so i just wanted you to know that this is a business and we're gonna treat it as such so dust those wallets off uh get those purses prime that i will have some products available before the end of 2016 so it won't be at the beginning of the year but towards the mid to end of 2016 i'll have some um products available and possibly depends on how the year goes maybe a course or a coaching class so if you're interested in any of those type of things let me know reach out to me and let me know what your thoughts are um but anyway it's coming one way or another so that's some of the housekeeping stuff that i needed to get out of the way before we really get into um i I just really hate that i lost everything but like i said everything happens for a reason and we gotta move forward so we talked about rising and grinding and i promised my husband that i won't say what i want to say but people that know me gonna know when i say it (laughs) i am a self-professed cheap 
blank skate. <laughs> I won't say the, the what I really want to say, but I'm a cheapskate. I am. I li- I do not like spending. Now I like nice things. Hold on, let me back up. I love nice things. I love really nice things. So like I won't splurge on Victoria's Secret. Like that doesn't turn me on. Yeah, it turns the hubby on, but to go get some Victoria's Secrets, it doesn't. That doesn't turn me on. But an Apple Watch. Hmm. Just because it's shiny and pretty, that 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 gets me. I, I love techie gadget things that are beautiful. So Apple wins wins my heart just because they make beautiful technology products and they're easy to use. Ah, Android lovers, aka Jose Duarte. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm a cheapskate. I am through and through. I got it from my mama. I know how to pinch a penny. It's a good thing and a bad thing. In business, it can be a stumbling block being a cheapskate. Especially to the level that I am a che- Well, I ain't that bad. Like, I'm not recycling ketchup packets or nothing. So, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say I'm, I'm no cheapskate to that level, but... I am self-professed. I don't like to spend money when I don't have to. But what I learned in 2015 is sometimes you have got to get out of your own way so that you can get further. And I say that because there were some things that I did in 2015 for the business that I had no business doing. I, I would have been so much further if I would have just spent a couple dollars let somebody else do it because they're an expert at it they know what they're doing and they can do it in a matter of minutes or hours where it took me days and sometimes weeks to get some of these things done for me to learn it and to figure it out and at the end of the day I have a new skill set but there was a lot of things that I could not do in the business simply because I was so busy trying to learn how to do something that someone that's already versed in it could have been had me up and running you know from jump and that was a big lesson learned for me that I had the head knowledge to know what resources were available to me but I'm stubborn and I felt like I could do it myself. I had my superwoman cape on and I was, hey, I'm going to figure it out. I don't need to pay nobody. You know how we do. And at the end of the day, that was a big lesson learned for me. So take that lesson from me. Don't make the same mistake I did. And sometimes it's not that we don't have the money to do certain things. A lot of times is we choose not to spend the money because we we want to do it ourselves or we think we have the capabilities of doing something. Oh, I don't need to pay somebody to do that. I can just do it myself. I did pay for it. I didn't pay for it in cash, but I paid for it in time. And that time, honey, once it's done, it's done. I said, look at Steve Jobs. That man had all the money that you could want, and he gone. He gone today. Ain't nothing he could have did to pay to stay here another day. So those weeks and months it took me to figure certain things out, I'm not ever going to get those weeks and months back. But I could have paid somebody, you know, $50, $100 to get something done that it took me way more time than was necessary. But, hey, I learned a skill, and... You guys learn from my mistake what not to do. <laughs> so, sometimes it don't pay to be cheap. And I gave the analogy of having a closed hand. Being so tight on money, your hand is closed. When you have your hand closed, your, just imagine your fist closed around a bunch of dollars. And just imagine you're in the line to pay for something. The cashier is hand her hand is out to get the money from you, but you got your fist closed and you don't want to get the money up. So you you had a stalemate. You can't go nowhere because you can't leave these people's store with the money in your hand, and the cashier can't get to the next customer because you standing there holding up the line. Open your hand 
and then receive something better in return and in the same token a closed hand never gets fed as those old fast women the old ladies that was fast in the neighborhood you know you had them old fast ladies in your neighborhood talking about baby a closed hand don't get fed but they ain't say hand Uh, we gonna leave that right there though a closed hand don't get fed because if you don't open your hand you can't receive anything just like i said before you have to open your hand to be able to receive something else so let go of them coins give it to somebody that know what they're doing and save yourself some time now like i said i know we want to be superwoman sometime but two points here get help when you need it like i said fiverr if you don't have a lot of money and you you need help fiverr is a really good place to go to get some help that is really inexpensive now if you do go on there do your research do your due diligence don't just hire the first joe smo on fiverr do your due diligence and see the ratings on there the reviews that they got the work that they did that sort of thing do what you're supposed to do to get the person the best person for the job and then the other thing to this point is in getting help accept help when it's offered a lot of times well not a lot of times i've had a few people to offer to help me in certain areas with the business and i was like no i'm good i got it thank you but i'm over here drowning struggling little by little even my husband even offered to help do certain things and i just was like no i got it you have to accept help help yourself just accept the help if somebody offers you to help you with something in your business let them help you because one day you'll be able to return that favor to somebody else and be able to help them but as long as you stuck where you are you can't help nobody else okay so i ain't gonna preach on it but you know what it said and uh yeah i think we covered everything y'all we got it in pretty quickly i think i went a little longer this time actually tomorrow we are officially ending 2015 with a bang and i look forward to chatting with you then all right girls know that you are loved and i'll holla of course janaenicole.com for the show notes j-e-n-a-e nicole.com all right bye